All right, so I want to talk about evaluating trig functions using the reference angle, but in this video, first we're going to talk about finding reference angles. And the reference angle is the angle formed by the terminal ray of the original angle and the x-axis. So we're going to do four here, uh, 460 degrees, 165, negative 40 degrees, and negative 283. Again, for these, almost always, what I like to do is make a sketch. Okay, so... Uh, so 460 degrees, if we made one full revolution, that's 360 degrees. Had we made it to the top, we would have added another 90 degrees, and that would be 450 degrees. But we actually go a little bit further here um, to get this angle 460 degrees. So that's going to be in the second quadrant. Okay, so had we gone all the way to the x-axis, we would have added 90 degrees to 450, which would give us 540 degrees. So, all right, this is now everything I think I need to, to figure this one out. All I'm trying to figure out is if I look at this terminal ray and the positive x, or you know, the uh, positive angle that it makes with the x-axis. So I'm I'm here using the negative x-axis. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how many degrees is this angle? Okay. Well, all I'm going to do in this case is simply take 540 degrees and subtract away 460 degrees, and that'll give me the angle in between those two. So that would simply leave me with 80 degrees, and we'd, we would say that is the reference angle. Same thing for 165 degrees. You know, if uh, we had gone to the top, that would have been 90 degrees. Uh, if we made it all the way to the the x-axis, that would be 180 degrees, but we don't quite make it that far. Again, we stop here at we stop here at 165 degrees. So again, we're just looking for this angle in between here. Well, this angle in, in between here would simply be the difference. We didn't go all 180 degrees. We went 180 degrees less 165 degrees, which would give me a reference angle of 15 degrees. So again, the idea is this angle between the x-axis and uh, the terminal ray, uh, this positive angle that's between 0 and 90 is going to have measure of 15 degrees. Okay, so let's see, negative 40 degrees. Okay, so negative 40 degrees would just simply move us down into quadrant 4. But again, all I'm trying to find is, I'm trying to find... I'm simply trying to find this actual angle between the x-axis and this uh, terminal ray. Um, so I'm thinking, what is this angle? Well since we went uh, down to this angle of negative 40 degrees, um, and again, that just tells me all, all I have to do is move clockwise. Well, how many degrees have you went? Well, to go from zero degrees to negative 40 degrees, we simply went 40 degrees. So we would say the reference angle for negative 40 degrees is simply positive 40 degrees. Uh, let's do one more here. I think we had one more. Uh, negative 283. So if we do negative 283, okay, so let's see. So again, if we went um, if we went to the bottom, that would be negative 90 degrees. To the left, that would be negative 180 degrees. Um, at the top, we would add another 90, so that would, or excuse me, uh, another negative 90. So that would be negative 270 degrees. If we made it all the way one revolution around, we would say that's we've traveled negative 360 degrees. So 283 is going to be somewhere in there. So negative 283 degrees. And again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find uh, this little distance in between there, okay, between my terminal side and the x-axis. So what I'm going to do in this case is really I'm just going to take the absolute value of these two numbers. Um, I'm going to make this 360. I'm going to make the other one uh, just positive 283. And if I take 360 minus 283, 
uh, what does that give us? I believe that's going to give us 77 degrees. Um, so it says this, this reference angle that we would use would actually be 77 degrees. Okay. So again, all I'm really trying to do is I'm just trying to find the distance in degrees between 360 and 283, except for they're negative because I simply went uh, clockwise in this case. But again, notice if you do take 360 minus 283, that will give you this angle in between. So I find these to be a little confusing sometimes, actually. Um, this is one of those little things. So almost always I do a little sketch and I kind of, you know, check my numbers and my arithmetic to make sure that this answer does in fact seem reasonable that I get at the end.